Instagram, Batty Tutorial. It's coming soon. y'all if this is the look that you're trying to get just keep watching this video because you're gonna see how i put it all together and go from bonnet to <laughs> how you want it okay <laughs> but i love you guys make sure you subscribe and like this video also leave me a comment of like your favorite part of the instagram baddie tutorial or what's your like key signature thing for your baddie vibe baddie look take the instagram part out of it just how do you really zhish it up leave that down here below give us some tips if you have like a special pro tip put us on girl we trying to look bomb this summer i mean hello summer 2018 nice for what looks good i love y'all see you in the next video peace <laughs> let me tell you something ask zero questions okay First of all, understand this. I don't care what I got on. I don't care how I'm looking. I'm always bad. Do we have that understanding? And the same goes for you, girl. It don't matter if the wig is on. It don't matter if the lashes are off. You still look good, okay? This is not that. This is this, all right? But anyways, let me just get straight down to the point. I am a basic girl. And not basic in terms of like, you know, no style, no razzle dazzle, not like that, but like basic, like I keeps it simple. I don't do too much, I don't need too much, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to make a video kind of doing a little bit more than what I normally do, AKA Instagram baddie. All right, this is an Instagram baddie video. So y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all seen the girls on Instagram who are always on 10 full faces of makeup, wigs, lashes, nails. They've got it all, right? Those are the girls I'm talking about. You understand what I'm saying? They've got it going on at all times. Girl, okay, I keep it simple and I just wanted to play around doing something a little bit more because why not, you know? So I've got my whole little setup over here, okay? My setup, aka just the makeup and stuff. But before we get started, I feel like rule number one of the Instagram baddie tutorial is to not be on camera with a bonnet for too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. There's another bonnet, hold up, wait a minute. Let's just take that off. Um, and then we can take this off. I'm taking all this off, cause girl, I'm about to put on my wig, okay? Um, let me go and grab my little head cap, hold on. Bam. So, I have a half wig. If you haven't seen my wig, I have put a video up on YouTube putting on this half wig before, so I'll put the link up at top so you can watch it next. I'm gonna just put on my little cap. I'm leaving these two braids out because it's a half wig, so this hair will be out. And let me put on my wig. All the info about this wig, where I got it from, how much it costs, what type of wig it is, it's in that video, so. And just a little pro tip for my weave wears, my wig wears, whatever. Spray some hairspray on here. And by hairspray, I don't mean like the hairspray that like makes it stiff. I'm talking about like good smelling hairspray, like perfume for the hair. I have some from Shea Moisture and literally it smells so good. Like you would never guess that this wasn't my head of hair until you look real, real close. <laughs> but me just passing by, you'd be like, ooh girl, your hair smell good? Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Bam. Um, I prefer, half wigs i've never tried anything else so i'm just i'm really just talking but i like having the half wig because i don't have to have all my hair braided down i don't like all my hair feeling restricted so me being able to have some of my hair out is good i do twist outs all the time and a twist out texture on this hair works perfectly okay so boom the style i'm gonna do for this is just like putting some up some down i think that looks the cutest and you know, some Instagram baddies get a little reckless with this. They don't care. You know, the lace be showing, honey. But let me tell you something, it's summertime, the sun is shining bright. What we won't be doing is exposing ourselves. Not up in here! 
nothing too much just putting it back a little bit baby hairs are naturally laid but we'll do a couple of extra brushes here and there brush brush uh nah <laughs> Ooh, not Instagram baddie-esque. Let's just calm it down, bring it back. So anyways, hello. <laughs> Whenever I have the wig on, I'm a different person. Huh? <laughs> no, I didn't hear you, what? Wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so let's just hop right into the makeup. Um, I'm gonna start off by putting on a little moisturizer because, so I think we've all seen our favorite Instagram baddies put on some form of glowy essence on their skin. Well girl, I got mine. Mine comes from my girl, Noor in Atlanta. She is a makeup artist. She just put out her very own skin formula. It's called Skin Glass. It's the glistening and nourishing antioxidant rich face oil. It has grapeseed, jojoba, and neem oil in it, and it's for all skin types. Basically what this oil does is just give you straight up natural glowing skin. So I'm gonna put this in the areas where I really want that shine. So that's gonna be like here. Ooh, uh, gotta move fast. Uh, this is not Instagram body cute. Uh, this is not Instagram body cute. Uh, Oh my God, I have to hurry up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pat that into the skin and it gets a very natural glow. It does kind of have like a shimmeriness to it, but without looking like glitter, if that makes sense. So, you just end up putting it all over. But boom, now makeup time. I shake up everything that I use on my face because I use MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the color NC44. Get this everywhere. I do the stippling motion because I think for skin with hyperpigmentation or any type of discoloration or unevenness, this helps to get your full coverage. And anytime I'm getting my makeup done and they don't do this motion, I'm like, you still gonna see every mark on my face. I just already be knowing, like, girl, it ain't gonna look like you did anything. But it's cool though. Ooh, my eyes. This is definitely my favorite foundation. And it's just because it like never fails to give me full coverage. Sometimes I use different stuff and it just, doesn't give me full coverage or by the end of the day, my face looks funny. I don't get that from MAC. And I know a lot of people be like, MAC breaks you out and blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's the MAC that's breaking you out. I think it's the, the fact that you're not getting the MAC washed off your face that's breaking you out. I wash my face really good, so I don't have makeup still on my face. You gotta really wash your face good. Next, I do my eyebrows. But before I do my eyebrows, I wanna do my under eye situation. Or do I? No, we'll just do the normal routine. It's always when you're trying to do something extra that something gets messed up. So let me just do what I normally do. So what y'all will see is that I'm kind of using some new products, like the Skin Glass is new. And then also I have a new favorite thing for my brows. It's cost efficient and I like it way better than the other thing I was using. Stay tuned. Y'all know I like to use Max Eyeshadow for my eyebrows. I would not suggest this color if you have dark hair. Like, this is the wrong color. Don't get this color. Um, but my next step kind of saves this, but this is not the right color. This is what I had when my hair was lighter. So don't be like me. Go and get a color that makes sense. Listen to the people at Mac and let them suggest something for you. Cause I'm one of those people where it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I didn't realize this was broke. So I was like, oh girl, I ain't gonna fix it. Let me just get what I normally get. But I, I should have realized it was broke. Sometimes it's broke, honey. I am a natural girl on the brows, but Instagram baddies, natural who, okay? Natural for what? So what I'll have to do is add a little bit of concealer up under the brows to really get them to really pop out because that's what an Instagram baddie does, okay? She doesn't just apply her brows and go. 
she has to do stuff to him to make him look. Girl, I don't know. For the under eye situation and also like what we're gonna do for under the brows, right? So I don't have like a brightening under eye, under brow situation. What I do have though is this matchstick from Fenty in the color caramel. Now I told y'all I'm a natural girl, so this is not too far from my actual skin complexion. So don't expect some like huge big difference. And I put a fair amount up under there. I think that this works best when you like run it a couple times on top of each other, on top of itself. Can't talk. If you like run it multiple times on top of itself, it starts getting really smooth and nice. Um, you do have to blend that out. You ain't gonna just leave that like that. I don't know how to do this. Okay, that is not right. How do I do this? God, Instagram baddies also do the top of their brows. Let me tell you something. This is gonna be a how to be an Instagram baddie and still look natural video. Cause we ain't gonna be just looking crazy. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. Now I'm just gonna take my finger. Oh my God, I forgot. I'm doing an eyeshadow look and y'all know I don't wear eyeshadow. But I wanted to do the eyeshadow before I did my makeup just in case there's any fallout. I learned that word on YouTube. I don't know nothing about Fallout, girl. So my eyeshadow look is still gonna be, you know, kind of natural, but it's still shadow. Before I do that, I'm just gonna set this under eye situation with my Studio Fix from MAC in the color C6. My normal shade is C7, so this is like a little lighter. This is what I use in the winter time, and C7 is what I use in the summer. But what I do notice is that it has a little bit of a pink undertone, like a reddish undertone, and I need something with more of a yellow. Okay, so now that that's set, I'm gonna just set that under eyebrow situation. Now I'm gonna do the eyeshadow. <gasps> now y'all know I don't be doing no eyeshadow. Now these eyeshadow palettes, or these little, this ain't a palette, these are their own discs. They're from H&M. Hold on, let me put my glasses on for this so y'all can really understand me. This is before things went haywire, okay, with H&M. Actually, I'm lying. So, after the whole coolest monkey in the jungle thing, H&M had all these signs outside they do that said 80% off. So I was like, what? 80% off? 80% off? Like, what does that mean? I just had to see for my old four eyes. So I went in there and I came out with things, okay? Now I did return the clothes that I bought. Hand on the Bible if I had one. Oh, I do have one, but I ain't about to go grab it. Hand on the Bible, right hand on the heart, okay? I did return the clothes, but I could not return the shadow. I couldn't return the makeup and I got like eight of these, okay? And some other stuff. So, listen, let me tell y'all something, okay? All right, no judgments. Um, this is, this is, you know, come on. Come on, give a girl a chance. Before we do that, I didn't do the next part of my brow situation. And that's because sometimes I wait until the end, but I'll just do it now so I don't forget. I just bought this and I am in love. This is my favorite new makeup product. It's from e.l.f. and this is their brow setter, brow. But look at this spoolie. First of all, how small it is. I will compare this to Boy Brow from Glossier, except this is only $5. <laughs> huh? What, right up my alley? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you have to be very light with this stuff. This is in the color dark, so just keep it light. But this will make your brows really look like brows, honey. You go in. I love how skinny the spoolie is because you can really comb the hairs and you can really just like pick out what area you want to really define. So not only will this keep your brows in place, but it actually, it adds like some definition and makes them look even fuller. If you're into that look, you'll love this product. And you know what Instagram brat 
What? The Instagram baddie never forgets about her brows. I was a little heavy handed over here. Okay, now it's time for me to do the shadow. So I'm gonna take my first brush. And the color that I'm gonna start off with, y'all, I had to watch an Instagram video, I mean a, a YouTube video right before this so I can do this right, because I literally do not do eyeshadow. So it, this may not look the best, but we're gonna try. Um, This is in the color Gingerbread, and it's just like this kind of muddy, reddish, brownish color. I figured this would be a good color for the crease area, so. I'm gonna start off with not too much because they always say it's easier to build than to like take away. So not too much and I'm gonna naturally put it in the place where I have a shadow. This brush might be too big. I'm just putting it in here. Ooh girl. I don't even know you no more. Yeah. Mm hmm See, that's enough for me. I don't need nothing else. Oh, too much. But blend it out. Just keep on blending. Ooh, broop. That looks pretty good. Put a little bit more. Bam. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade and this is what I'm gonna put on my lid. This is in the color Shiitake and it's a shimmer. It is a shimmer. I would prefer to just use matte shadows, but I don't have a matte shadow that I would put on my lid that I own. And I feel like an Instagram baddie, she likes shimmer. So I'm gonna do a little shimmer just right on the lid. And it's like not too much, you know? Oh God. Okay, so just put some shimmer on. And I didn't work it all the way down to this area because I'm gonna put a different shimmer there. Before I do that though, I feel like I've seen every makeup person, they always put some up under here. So I'm gonna put that same color gingerbread and I'm gonna use that as like a underliner under eye liner. I don't know, girl. And that's just going right there. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. I don't know what the point of this part is, but everybody does it. So I'm just doing it. What else do I need to do? Wish I had like a darker shade to kind of, actually, you know what? I'm gonna use the color that I use for my brows. And this is in the color corduroy. And I'm gonna use this to kind of bring it together. I feel like I just have on like two different shadows. Um, but I'm gonna just do one of these. And do like a V down here. Ooh, I think this brush is too big. I, mm, mm, I don't know what I'm doing. I said, ah. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, you guys, I think I'm done with the shadow. Cause I literally don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of like the super shimmer in the color Chin Chin. And I'm gonna put that right up in here. Oh yeah, it, this is a super shimmer. This is like glitter. Ooh, 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 what you say? You ain't say nothing to me, baby. What you say? You ain't say nothing to me, baby. She put a little bit of eyeshadow on, now she needs to some. Before I hop into one of the most important steps, let me just grab a sip of water, cause y'all ain't even ready for it, hold up. Bam, it's time to contour. I'll be contouring with this pressed powder from Black Radiance in the color Rich Mahogany. Get a good amount on there, cause girl, Instagram baddies know how to contour, okay? They be contouring the hell out of their face. You find that shadow and you just go in, honey, and take no prisoners. 
Yep, straight like that. I'm gonna do a little bit up here. Just to make sure everything is everything. And a little bit down here. No gobble gobble chins up in here. Do the same for the other side. Now, I'm gonna take that brush that we was blending out with, and this one I'm gonna use to do my nose contour because, come on, how are you gonna be an Instagram baddie and you don't contour your nose? <laughs> like, in the natural shadow, I just jump right in, girl. I don't take no time, and I'm gonna take it all the way up to the brow. Light hand, little bit of product because you're going to blend this out, so don't be afraid. And if you do mess up, you can always just blend it out and then just bring it down here. I've been seeing people do this thing where they like put a little bit right here, but girl, I don't know what that does. I don't know what that means, so I'm not going to bother with it, okay? I'm gonna take my big kabuki brush and I'm just gonna go in and start blending that away dusting that off a little bit because i am looking a little bit like a dragon bam i'm going to take this highlighter shade from the imam palette in the luxury contour pro and i'm gonna take my finger and just use that to apply highlight on the bridge of my nose and then i'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose so bridge tip not just all the way down People don't be knowing what they're doing. But from one Instagram baddie to another, that's how you're supposed to do that. I really like that shimmer. I might pop a little bit more just because I really like it. Let me take a little bit more of that shimmer. Mm. Chan Chan, come on Chan Chan, for the win win. Oh, I kind of wanted to use this highlighter. I'm gonna use this one. This is from NYX. This is the Duochrome in the color Synthetica. This color is really special because it just looks like a whole bunch of different shades in one Synthetica. Damn, just don't have enough. I don't have the right light. It's like, this is natural light, but it's gloomy outside. So there's no sunshine. I'm gonna just like kind of dust it everywhere that I want it. Now for blush because what's a baddie without a little blush, you know? Mm -hmm. Baddies blush all the time. I'm gonna use my go-to blush from Clean Color in the color tan. I don't know why it's called tan. For the cheeks, dunk, dunk. Hello. Yeah, she's a cheerful girl. Hi. Now it's time to go in with what I would say the most important part of Instagram bodies. Face. And that's these. Mm hmm Can you see them though? These are lashes, honey. Yeah, baby. Ardell Wispies in the color black. Okay, so it does come with a little adhesive, which is perfect because I do not have lash glue. It's clear, oh, clear white. I don't know what, it's either one or the other. Uh-huh, hello, let me just get my lashes on. Wait, what, he about to come over? Wait a second, I, got, I gotta put on my lashes, wait a second. Just, just put some glue all on my lashes, oop, oop. How do y'all not get the glue in your eyes though? Cause this is already tripping. Okay, so I'm gonna just let this sit for 30 seconds like they said. Just a little bit more right here. This smells like school glue. This better be the real good glue, Ardell. Y'all better not be having me out here looking foolish. That's what girl be doing. That's what they be doing. Uh-uh, where's my, uh-uh. I gotta get my, my uh, tweezers. All the girls put their lashes on with tweezers. Girl. Okay, I think it's time. It's time, right? Let's, let's try. Let's try. Uh. Oh. Oh, shit. oh God, okay. Whoa, the glue's like turning purple against my lotion face, that's cool. Y'all, look what color the glue's turning. That's kinda cool. 
I don't have it too close to my lashes because I don't need no problems, honey. I'm already slightly bald headed in the lash department. So <laughs> what we not gonna do is I have a lash on. <laughs> what? No. <sighs> Boy, no. I wish this was just sticky enough to put on. Like, it's the glue part that I hate. A thin layer, but enough to not look foolish when the wind blows. Close the cap. And save for later. You never know when I might want to pop them on again. Don't y'all save lashes? I mean, don't we save lashes? I'm, I'm part of the game now. This brow looks crazy. My lips look crazy. Oh my God. For somebody who's like really doing their makeup, this glue like turning this color would probably be really annoying because it's changing. Oh, it does, oh, it dries clear. Oh, wow, okay, see, it dried clear over there. That's good to know. I guess that's what it meant by white clear. Should I have done the liner first or do you do the liner second? Don't you do the liner on top of this? Or am I tripping? I'm gonna just let that dry for a second and I'm gonna put on my lip. So this is my new favorite lip. This is also from e.l.f. This is the, it's in the color Mocha Twist and this is the Lip Plumping, can you talk? Lip Plumping Gloss, y'all. So your lips are gonna burn for like maybe two minutes when you first buy this and then you'll get used to it. But new favorite gloss alert. <laughs> First of all, I don't have lip gloss lines when I wear this. Like barely, barely. Definitely not on the same level as other glosses that I have. It's texture and like the thickness of it really reminds me of a MAC lip glass. Ooh, ooh, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Lip liner, where are you at lip liner? I have two lip liners. I have one from MAC in the color. Ooh, I can't see it. Damn, sorry y'all. I don't know what color this is, but it looks like that. And then I'll show you this one from Jordana. They're basically the same. I say that all to say, girl, you ain't got to spend too much money to get the look. And here. This will give you, lining the lips gives you a little bit more definition and if you have thinner lips, this will help to make them look fuller. I just like lining my lips to give me a little bit more definition, you know? Bam. Sexy mama. <laughs> okay, I did not do the last step and I feel like, ooh, I hope this doesn't mess everything up. Please don't mess everything up. I wanna do a little bit of liner just on top of where this lash is. So I'm just not wasting no time, just going right on top of it. Ah! Oh my God, you guys. Y'all, okay. You know what? I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm just trying, oh God. You guys, I'm <laughs> it up. Uh, Y'all, I did the exact same thing over here. I always blink. That's okay, I'm just gonna put some shadow on top of that part. And there we go. Okay, it's like it never happened. Oh, some people put mascara on their lashes. Do they? Do they put mascara on their lashes? My mascara is crusty right now, so I'm not gonna put mascara on the top, but I'll put it on the bottom. Like, I need a new mascara. This one's drying out. How do I look? Oh, no look is complete, Instagram baddie or not, without, first of all, blending your neck. I just thought about that. Please, ladies, don't let them know you got on a full face of makeup. Just do this trick right here and make sure your neck is matching your face. This is step one on how to fool these fools, okay? Period. Mm. 
but as I was saying, no look is complete without setting your makeup with your Fix Plus. This makes every powdery part of your face look less powdery and more like skin. This is crucial to my makeup game, natural or not natural. I need this stuff because I do use powders and I don't like when my face looks like I'm wearing makeup. This helps me to look more natural. And even an Instagram body can respect that. Do I need to put, a, I feel like I need to put a little bit of mascara, at least on the tips, cause you can't tell that I have on lashes like that. Let's just get it a little bit more lashy in this bitch. You know, just let people know that we're here and that we made it. Pause, before I even show y'all the look, I forgot a very crucial step to my personal baddie situation. Hold on, my eyes itching, hold up. You can wait, you'll wait right there while I itch this eye. I'm back. Girl, <laughs> hold up, cause hold on one second. I'ma do it right here. Bam. And we're gonna also do it right here. Twink. What you was saying? Huh? <laughs> Wait. But what party though? <sighs> Girl, I cannot with him. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I guess. What you, what you, what you want me to do, huh? What you want me to do? Instagram baddie, Instagram baddie. Yeah, Instagram baddie, okay. She said what, she got a lot of bounce. Ooh, she got a lot of bounce. Oh. Not too much, cause the wig might fall off. We don't need it to fall back, just need you to fall back, okay? Hello? <laughs> what? No. Ah, I had so much fun making this video, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, like, you know, it's all fun and games. Like I said in the beginning, you are a baddie with or without, you understand what I'm saying? This is just, you know, paying homage to my girls who really just do their little thug fizzle on Instagram and really just show you, you know, how we could put it all together. So shout out to you girls and also shout out to the girls who this is not your look, but sometimes you just wanna have a little fun, you know, do a little extra. And if this is not fun for you, I get that too. Like, and everybody's fun is different. And I hate when it becomes this general thing. Fun is fun. No, fun is what you think is fun for you. You know, the things that get you hyped. So we'll talk about that in another video.